Well, what defensive options are available? It's going to be the Tom Kench. Um, I have some stacks to back up some of yours as well. Hecarim has been played twice before today. Both of them were wins. Haru has a win on Hecarim. You know, it's clear they think Gwen is going to be killable here. Otherwise, you will never skip those cams to go for it. Serxa comes in looking for the play. Jenna actually steps up. Has Ignite, no flash available. No. Serxa goes for the play. Vizisachi needs to walk forward, they need to fight it together, it's a little bit split, but with that, Vizisachi gets the first block. Beautiful! Caster is pretty fun, but I am lucky that I have my Caller Caster Quickshot here by my side. Quickshot, take this one. Oh, Coffee's gonna be forced to flash, Jez doing treat, step forward, 200 hit points down to 100, one more, so it does it! Treat picks up the there kill! Is. Onto Coffee, okay, misplay from, from Astralis. So, I think, you know, Oh, hold Ooh. that thought, hold that thought. Cersei gets booted backwards. Certus has flashed forwards. No way, threaded body on. into Otto. Will secure the kill. SK find it. You know, I remember him as like the control heavy guy. Yeah. The guy that slowly sets up his team for success. And I think that's definitely still the case. Oh, now. beautiful. Is, setting beautiful. up his team. Flash. Kachi, he's got the cannon barrage available. Five V. In the river, Bruxa, you called it. You said the fight was coming. Kobe, level five. Jezu, level six. Certus rides the wall to safety. The onslaught of shadows fire those needles, but there's not enough damage. Jung Hoon now steps forward. Certus is caught out. He's gonna force the knock back away. Jezu, red, white guns, tears through Dayor. XK pick up the first. Treats get six. The hostile takeover lands onto Chachi, but they can't stick to the targets anymore. It's so far just the one. Continuing to throw out the damage. Can Certus knock someone back? No! Control for both of those objectives. Australia used all their control to get the Herald. SK in return gets the push back, can get the Slightly more drawn out laning phase. That's a pretty large signal. Yeah, and to be fair. Oh, we are going oh, in. Oh, Weaver's wall pulled a little short. Dayo starts to step backwards. Xerxes and Yungu come from behind. Trees is going to fire out the hostile takeover buys just a few seconds as Xerxes is now looking for the bailout, looking for the handshake between the uprights. Copy does not find a target. Now Gilius forced to ghost away for his life. It's a little bit awkward if you're SK right now because your only gold lead is on your, on your support. Yeah. And there's a limit to how much that actually matters. Now, I really like what Gilius is doing here because he knows, once again, it's just an objective trade. One team gets the Drake. If you're fast, you can move to the other objective on the other side right away and secure that for your team. And considering that SK are in a losing position, being able to get that Herald is actually pretty big. Now, I'm really curious to see how this top lane plays out at this point, because if we look back at the past weeks, Vizisachi hasn't been the strongest laner of all time, and that has been JNX's big strength. But right now, they're basically even. I mean, they are, and, and I, I, I just, your word you said, hasn't been the strongest laner of all time. I think um, fans... The most skilled shooters or aimers, because they're using their brains as a skill. Maybe a parallel could be drawn. Right now, a parallel is being drawn in the river. So just put the wall down! So just put the wall down! Jesu retreats locked outside. Can't get in just yet, but Gen X is doing work. We just talked about the influence and the impact. Chachi forced a flash for his life. The needle, the snip, snip, snip. The double for Gen X. Can you blind. How does it feel, Broxner, when you accidentally hit a stopwatch in-game and it is highlighted by the observers and cheered for by Berlin? <laughs> to be fair, they're, they're not even going to know what actually happened. But, oh, oh Jungho looking for the play, getting a little bit over eager get? perhaps, and he will be slain. Oh, I love it! I love it, It's his second item on Gwen, and Astralis is going to have a pretty hard time dealing with him. Well, Gilius gets jumped on, the Weaver's Wall will separate Astralis, Chachi goes good night! Hostile takeover, catches on to Dayor, waiting for the shock with no flash available. The zap goes a little wide. So SK, they combine the abilities. The Weaver's Wall preventing Astralis for jumping into the fight. We're on an Infernal Rift fighting for an Infernal Drake. And Gen X is stepping in from behind. The onslaught of shadows! Fears up too! But a gobble, gobble, gobble from Jong Hoon will keep Dayo alive for now. He still hasn't fired the shock, but he finally does. Not enough damage! He's down! SK! Dumpster! Astralis! But Kobe! Kobe! He manages to pick up a couple before taken down and aced by SK. That was... That was some impressive. All of a sudden, there's TP advances. That TP advances can come in really handy and get help them get Baron control. Running, 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 Devastating charge backwards. Catfish for dinner. That is a hell of a All they had to do was not die for those 10 seconds, but Gilius obviously ran right at them. They couldn't get out. 
JNX is now getting caught here in the 1v2. No one is going to be able to follow him Ooh, in time. Who's catching who? Who's doing. catching who? That hallowed mist did so much work. The horse Come is back. Give it a lick. <laughs> no unstoppable onslaught. Oh, no. no heartbreaker. Cannon Barrage is available. The tongue lash comes out. Two and a half thousand. So Teleport coming much. from flash forward. What? What? Cersei steals the Baron. Go for it. Okay, okay. When I'm assuming we'll get a replay. I hope that we do. Um, after we see Chachi now being caught out, gets no jumped up by... Oh, who's board. catching who? Who's catching who? Shockwave, not gonna find its target. Jezu this time caught out, Flame Chomper's down, Moonlight Vigil, Gale Force forward! And the burning, burning, burning copy will just about Could've survive. Done so many things, but Xerxes was just... he was just chilling. <laughs> just chilling, just chilling, manages to get the smite down with the help yes, of... All in all, I like this from Astralis grouping up and trying to get that mid turret, but they do need to be mindful about SK's engage of Hulk. That was actually the unsung hero here, yeah. because while yeah. Coffee does a flash available, he kind of sacrificed his own flash to save his AD carry. They are no shockwave, kill yes, with the devastating charge, but look at that damage! Kavi remains untouched. A couple of autos and the fact that Chachi is pushing in a <laughs> They're gonna just lose Drake for free. They try to bring some of SK's members up, but SK is smart, letting the AD carry secure. Around. And puts it inside the pit. Baron's down All to 3,000. He's not gonna Gilles. make it. Onslaught Chaz. No, he's way too late to the party. Genex is looking for the flank, and that's already a dead pony. Gilius is dropped in the pit. So it just goes golden with the hourglass, and Genex is wreaking havoc. Snip, snip, snip. Goodbye, Kobe. Genex goes You've golden. Surtis so goes mad. In a four versus five. No, screw that. Genex in a one versus four is going to take the fight. And then again. Did I say jungle gap? I think it's a top gap if I've ever seen one. JNX is going absolutely beast mode. Solo carrying that fight. There's 30 seconds on time. Kench, 35 on Kobe. They can get an inhibit here at least, It's gonna be a close right? one. They get an inhibit worse, but I don't think they're gonna get more than that. Let's see, though. Let's wow. see, because they do how push bold. relatively quickly. How bold, how bold, how bold. Three members of SK pushing into an undefended base. JNX, snip, snip. Checking out those needles. Tower is down. 10 seconds for Yonghun. 20 for Kobe. I think they're gonna push for this. They're gonna look for a Nexus turret. SK, can they close up for anybody even sports? My word. Gen X puts SK in the backpack. The second Nexus turret will fall. They're gonna make the it Nexus trouble. is They're being gonna bring focused. Home. And SK Gaming take down Astralis. Wow. Gen X is just so good at this game. So I have a feeling they're gonna get the engagement they did, got the Leona, and overall, you know, seeing a Mumu, it's a beautiful sight. We've already seen him being played a little bit in the LEC. Across the Warden, Odo's got himself the ultimate, he doesn't have the Ghost available. It's the Vanish Toss will connect, Neon running low, Flash and Cleanse still available to him, that will be crucial in the later stages. Firing out shot after shot, the Zenith Blade, Trimby is down first! What cost? Teams we have in the league, Misfits has a lot of bright spots there as well. I mean, they really do. Um, I've got some numbers for you, which we'll look at if Neon survives this. Flash and Cleanse are available to him. Trimby, bandage toss. Oh, he predicts it! The Cleanse comes out! Oh, Trimby. I always like the potential of Herald. But I'll tell you now, Broxa, I've seen enough teams with that Herald that I will believe it when I see it, right? But obviously having the tool, seeing how Zanzara's moved around the map, I do feel like the opportunities are there. It just depends on which lane he wants to commit now, to. Now, you lined up a question perfectly for me oh, because no. I promised you we were going to test you a little bit. Uh, now, let's see how this top top play plays out before we go for it. But Zanzara smacks it out there into the Keeper's wall. Keeper's Verdict is going to be available. Vitio's coming close. Trimpe is there. Good move by the support. Zivici is going to portal over. Trimby's holding on for now. Bandage Toss is available. The Keeper's Verdict is not used, in fact. Will be Rufflecopter, forced to flash over the wall. Malrag's now stepping forward. Cease and desist. The Weaver's wall is thrown, and Misfits can still walk around. Irrelevant's about to make an eye out. That's going to be the Cease and Desist. Meganor into the wall, but there's not enough damage. Trimby gets jumped out by that portal. The Verdict is ruffling once again. And will it be channeled? No, Zanzara holds on to it. Actually looking for Larson. Yeah, sleepy trouble bubble. They'll cut off at least one option. Keeper's verdict is used. Knocked up into the air. Larson survives for the time being. The solar flare. Mercer sets it up. He does. They are going to lose a lot of plates in the top lane. Oh, Zanzara was jumped on there. Steadfast presence will at least prevent any further follow up. Shelly gets the boop, gets the tower. And that's a crazy summer. And right now, they have a, a very sizable event, 4,000 gold, a dragon. The gameplay stuff. 
I'm gonna make you do a dragon or baron team fight. Okay? Oh, we'll make it clear. Okay, that's fair. We'll, we'll right. get him expended from Malrang to golf claps here in Berlin. Zanzara loses his flash. And Broxa, just like you said, the duo top. Sansara standing in the bush, Malrang sneaking in, looking for the play, does a vision on the dragon, could potentially steal it, Malrang gets the dragon, channeling Q. Udo Amne gets out, Malrang pulls the Leona for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Irrelevant goes in, Vizio walks up, looks for the play on the Zoe, pops the flash. Can he land the bubble? Oh! Trippy goes in, Sansara, beautiful play, pushing him back, and there, there's Trevor. Misfits are doing it. They did lose the dragon, but it looks like they put half of the enemy team in the gray screen simulator. Didn't Enjoy your gray screens, friends. Misfits start pushing mid. Looks for the turret. No! Sansara gets sniped. <laughs> How unfortunate. But they still get the turret. Broxa, that was awesome. Misfits win the fight. Leona engaging on the rogue side isn't going to be the easiest task in the world. So just, you know, taking control of the area, pulling in the opponents. Beautiful stuff. I mean, I really like it. It's crazy to think about that, isn't it? With a Moo Moo and with Vi, it's difficult to engage. But look at this. Underneath the tower, Irrelevance already used the Gnar. The tower's dropped down. The hop, the skip, the jump. And Irrelevance is going to hold on to that flash. I hope. Please don't waste it. He uses it, flashes. Malrang forced to run for his life. No, no, what? He's going to look for that snip. The snip. Is hop available? No, it is not. Now, is it enough to secure the Baron? If they can flash, bandage toss, curse of the sad mummy available. Going over the wall with the denting blows into the pit. It is Neon that secures the dragon. The assault and battery flies forward, and Malrang's already able to delete Sansora. Mercers to follow. Immediately killing off onto Trippy. Now Odo gets tagged up. He slept inside the bushes. A knockback onto Neon. That was a seismic shove to end all seismic shoves. The shield will come up, and the zap! The laser from downtown. Irrelevant is hella relevant as he's keeping Road busy. Vitio goes forward, but it may be too much, it may be too far, it may be too deep. Now all of a sudden, Larson running for his life. Chucks out the rock mines, and Irrelevant continues to throw out the bomb. right now. In theory, they could go and start up Baron, but let's see. They take down the tier one, and now. Look for the river, who's gonna have to walk in. Every other fighter started with Malrang looking for the steal, and I think we're gonna see something similar. Actually, great wall. We're gonna force Leona to flash out. Now Roger coming in, comp. Unfortunately, wasted the Z. Oh, Dragon's going low. Keeper's verdict is gonna knock away one. Dragon secured number three for Misfits. We're working towards that ocean soul. Mercer's holding on to the solar flare. He's holding on to the Zenith blade. That's the solar flare! Into the paddle star. Not gonna be enough to kill Trimby. Cry, cry, cry as Trimby runs away. Dragon secured, seismic shove, catches on to Zanzara. I think the Keeper's Verdict sending away Ember of Rogue, allowing them to continue this push. Now Rogue somewhat splits up. Dash forward, needle work out, snip, 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 and that's a dead Mercer. Trimby remains alive for now. The battle not going to be enough to kill Marang, but it will be enough to take down Trimby at the cost of Vizio's own life. Neon remains untouched, but it's a three. Sour in basing the in basing is the main Getting reason the there's no pressure on this Baron. They can get it for free. Baron secured. secured. We see the Mega Nah, how it was. And Sarah's going to look for the play over the wall. Ooh, not going to be enough. Mystic Shot from Com picks up the kill. Rogue. Probably the biggest one we've seen so far with, you know, Irrelevant just not having any backup. Ian and Sansara, if they were a bit closer, maybe they could have done some work. Two shot barrage. Oh, the stolen bat. I hate Zoe sometimes too. But the one who's going to step forward and just wreck that tower. What misfits need Still with the out. advantage that has been accrued by Rogue? They're going to have to look for an engage soon enough because yeah. Rogue are very, very strong right now. They're slowly going to push them in and they're going to. Just start. about to fall. Zanzara's copped up. Will be available in just a moment. Keeper's verdict. Cool down, resetting. Sleepy. Trouble will not do anything just yet. BTO continue to fire over the wall. Looking for a target. Ultra Shock Laser. Trying to kill these minions. I mean, Rogue are just letting the cannon minions do so much of the work. I'm just going to arcane shift over the W. Have fish inside a barrel. It's easy to shoot them. That's a pretty big barrel. Cleanse has been used. Dragon secured. That's the third for Rogue. Keeper's verdict. Boots one away. Trippy gets pulled backwards. But Sansara's already down. There's so much damage coming out from Oda Wande. He escapes with his life and Trippy stays alive. Mercer's taken down as well. Irrelevance. Mega Nar, but he can't find a target. All of a sudden, Neon dashes over the wall. He gets one back. 
Three to three. Larson's running for his life. Flash has been used. Cleanse has been used. Malrang has ult. Needs to lock somebody down. Flashes away defensively as Odo steps forward to the Hallowed Mist. Scissors prepped to cut, cut, cut. Irrelevant. Goes hyper for now. That's the second kill of the fight. Two to low. Level 15 on Malrang. Sleepy Trouble Bubble will at least force people through a channel. Baron's down to 3,000. Malrang gets jumped on. Irrelevant's taking so much damage from Odo. Baron's peeled away. The fight's broken out. Odo takes down Sans and Odo escaped with his life. Malrang will be traded, but for Vizio. Neon remains untouched. He is the danger man. He needs to kill everyone for Rogue. Just a moment, but it's going to be really difficult for them yeah. to stop this play. Worth I mean, noting that Malrang is dead, so maybe Neon can snipe it over the wall. Ultra he goes for it. Laser, not going to be secured. Very respectable. Misfits, 30 seconds until the dragon fight. They have to deal with Baron empowered minions. And once again, they are being sieged. Neon was shoving out that top lane, level 18. It's up that uh, five to get it in there. Rook has so much pressure. So it's oh, goes for the plan. Although Omni smacks him into the wall. Pretty hard for the team to follow up. Although Omni can just walk out. They did land the bubble on Vi. Rook trying to back to Rook. Solar Flare. Cop. The knockout from the Verdict for the damage Look return. The damage return is just too big. Megan over by some time. Meteor stays alive in the back. And all of a sudden, Irrelevant and Neon forced to run for their lives. It is a two for two. And Neon is stepping forward. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Malrang's Mega now coming in, smack them into the wall. Malrang's might, Malrang's might, Malrang's might! Not enough! Not done! Much damage with Zoe. Yes. That's very, very impressive. Over the wall, Malrang jumps onto Neon. Zanzara steps forward, gets the stun onto Malrang. Weaver's wall will bring support from Road. Here comes Odo! That's a seismic shove of note. Going golden for Zanzara. Malrang is down. Zanzara stays alive! Stays alive! But Mercer does get taken down. Neon is chasing Odo. Ultra Shock laser not going to be fired through the wall just yet. They Don't are already commit on to the it. Tremor. They are hitting the Baron. It's going significantly faster this time, but Malrang. We'll be looking for the steal. Oh, they do don't they finish? Do they finish? Do they finish? Right they finish? They finished! All of a sudden, Trippy goes forward! Curse of the Sand Mummy! But Mercer's already dropped down. Baron was secured. That is the cost of Trimby. Irrelevance running for his life. Neon flashes or dashes over the wall. Oh, does he decide to chase? He's got himself this Sultan Battery still available. Comp is going forward with that Arcane Shift. Ultra Shock Laser goes out. Remember, one for one. Teleport now coming back in for Irrelevant. That's him being jumped on. As all of a sudden, Malarang takes a boomerang to the face. Keep your eyes on Neon. Neon remains untouched. Vito is trying to force Zerlassen away. Malarang step forward. The ultimate is still up for Malarang. The ultimate is still up. He manages to jump on a Neon. Does Neon get taken down? Forced to flash for his life. Staying alive. Thanks to the Love Shield. Thanks to the heals. Misfits. They're turning it up. They've got Baron. They've got three kills. They're looking for four video flashes. Not going to find it just yet. Irrelevant gets popped in a boulder. A boulder to the face. Roxy, can they finish if they get the ace? It is going to be game here if Larson dies oh. because only Trimby is going to be up and available. Misfits of five people. Look at the death timers. 40 plus on every Berlin. single member. Are you not entertained? Oh, that's how it's done. That's how it's done. I'm watching done. and learning from the best. And with that, Trimby in the 1v5. I would love to see him doing this, but that Abumu unfortunately doesn't deal too much damage. What was that game? Misfits from 0-2 last week, taking down the number one team in the league. Rogue are on a three-game losing streak, and Misfits are looking at playoffs. Kelly and Azillion in the later game. They're going to go for it. So Mickey bringing out something of a specialty, shall we say. When he got brought into the XL lineup, this was something that he did rely on. And it has been something that's worked out for XL in the long, in the short term First as well. Dragon, so they see them go absolutely ham. So and it's quite crystal. normal. You're quite it's quite normal. Quite content. You know, it just become a little bit of a... Oh, Alfari will get the stone against the wall. Finn is very close to dead. One more auto attack will do it. And that is Alfari with the... Iris smells something. He knows he can make something work here as Finn gets caught again. Still no flash. He was five. Seconds away from that summoner, and that the tricks they just cannot get. Because we're gonna have a look at top side 2v2 happening, but it's actually a 3v2. As Mickey force a flash away, you do not have your ult at the moment. You can kill Ian Azillion, and he will be going down. Perks is here and still has plenty in the pack pocket to get Vitality. That is four in moment of momentum here. As Vitality are just crushing them right now, they'll get the tower. Thank you, Berlin crowd, for the herald cheer. And of course, we'll see even more coming to cleanse off the Gravitum stun. The Zillion is coming in from the bot side. It's 
perks. Maybe fancies the 1v1. Patrick thinking he can maybe take this one. Does get the proc down. Going to have the cannon barrage come in as well. But he waited so patiently. Patrick really well done there. Able to make sure he was able to get the cleanse out. And still means because I'm going to stop myself for a second. Is Nuke does going to go straight into a charmed Talia. Perk's going to go golden. They do have the hostile takeover, which will take over. Time waster. But now they've kind of realigned their focus, I guess you can say. Uh, and they've been able to get oh, a flash forward here from Marcoon trying to catch out Perks, who does not have flash, does not have cleanse, and does not have a life. Zero two now on the Talia, but Haru wants to try and make something on. And you can see the Perks is getting very close to having enough money to be able to buy this first time. Oh well, Nuke Duck's in a lot of trouble. He's caught between a pillar and a hard blade. Flash in by Karzi. One more auto attack, but there's just so much mobility on this Ari now. Haru really stuck between himself and the rest of the enemy team. But Marcoon, you flashed earlier, which means you don't have it now. He gets flashed on by Haru, and that's another kill here for Vitality. Zealous there from Vitality. Vitality, and like we said, a bit weird, but that means that all the pressure they've drawn from XL at topside opens up that mid lane tier one. So Vitality continues to get more objectives on the map. They gain more control. They may end up losing this Drake in exchange because they, uh, from the front line, basically leaving Marcoon isolated. And a really good Renata ultimate as well from Lebrov. Three seconds till the flash. They're looking for it, and they're going to try and fully commit to him as soon as he goes into meta. The charm is good. Alfari knows he's as good as dead, and that is a shutdown over to Nuke Duck. I respect that Alfari committed to getting the cannon minion before he dies. 100%. You know, man's got his priority straight. Uh, but yeah, that was a good pick. Would, would have been landed by perks, ended up being spell shielded, which means that he was able to get to safety. But uh, yeah, a very relatively slow, but overall controlled game from Vitality. I've been very impressed with how they've been playing the map. I find that often their early games have been so mixed that it's hard for them to get to this state, but you can see that when they actually have control, Ooh, they're playing the mid game very effectively. But they are. <laughs> yep. Look at the Baron, though. They got themselves a trade of two dra a okay. dragon and a turret, but here comes the Baron trade here as XL are saying, they're melting, it. they're melting it because you've got Nefelios. There's nothing you can do to respond here. That's a tower and an objective, but I think it's decision making. It's been nice from Vitality, but now we can see that they're going to go for a big fight here. TP coming off the backside of this. The Weaver's well trying to separate Patrick from the rest of his team. Alfari is mega. He fell one person, but a good flash as Patrick tries to get away. He's got himself the chrono break, so he's going to be able to stay alive. Marcoon now, as we can see, a great ultimate of the hostile takeover. Patrick will not die. Eventually, he will fall, but you traded it back. It's a one for one as now Vitality look to reset the fight. Nuke Dug is still doing very well as Alfari takes down the Monkey King. It was a, be a big boy, and I'm gonna have a lot of different utility to kind of work with this one here. And I will say though, the longer this kind of stalling comes out from Vitality, they do get themselves up to the soul point. It looks like XL, they don't really have the resources to take this fight, and Vitality get themselves the ocean. Vitality are just keeping XL at arm's length. They're really just chipping away at them. And here we go! Away. Massive ultimate into the flick back. The solo layers of Vitality in perfect synergy, and XL they're routed. They're running home. Nuketuk knows he needs to try and kill this wave, otherwise it's going to be game over. Perfect ultimate comes in from Alfari. XL wanted to keep the dance going, but Vitality said, nope, this will be our finale, and they played it beautifully. The Wombo combo was clutch, and Vitality will now find themselves with a big win over XL. Yeah, they're going to be able to push in through this mid lane. They don't even care about the minions. They'll finally be able to get them to kind of join in in the parade, but really well done. Very patient play from Vitality, and a most important win that they needed. We will have another fight coming in as we can see there's the Berserk from Marcoon as he tries to make this one a little bit of a harder work here. The Ace comes out, the Nexus turrets have fallen, and Vitality will tie up XL at seven wins and five losses. Able to land the sleep, but G2 are fully committing to the team fight. They've gone for double AP solo laners, they've got 80 jungle. And then obviously Sivir, which is a team fight monster. I think they're like, when you look so, he is playing Same towards his strong side. And Broken Blade has to respect it. He doesn't have a jungler. He doesn't have a jungler, but a flashing because they want to get the stun down. You can see Synchrov's looking for him, and they know there's no flash on a Gwen. First blood to BDS. And we gank, which then gave room for Yankos to be able to make this play on towards the Drake. Yes, yeah, Synchrov tries to get in range, but the smite was not up. Yankos now going to disengage. Bot side, and now the Herald has spawned. And look, these resets have come through, and here Ooh. comes the collapse. They're gonna try and collapse on the Gregor. Sivo is broken by pops down the needlework. He does get a two man stun, but can he get out alive? That is the question. The answer is yes, he can. 
And now we're going to see a 2v2 on the top side. As we can see now, Yankos and Broken Blade trying to run away. Yankos hasn't got anywhere to be. And Syncroft takes down the enemy jungler. Limit here from BDS is really good there. Making it very awkward for G2 to actually approach the lane. They can't gain access to the wave. The oh, ultimate. Oh, that Moonlight Vigil was fantastic. It's Maddie. And then bopped away is Yankos. So they get a full charge. They'll get the full tower as well. This is honestly magnificent coming out from the side of BDS. They're Who's just... End? They see him. No, oh, lands the bubble there. The Drowsy will come out. They'll get themselves a Q as well. Tongue Lash will not land. So no licking for you as everyone kind of walks back with their tail He's between their legs. For it, though. BDS are still holding. Oh, able to rotate first down towards the bot side. But it didn't matter because the moment that he arrived, Stinkroff made the smart decision to just yeet Yankos out of there. Keeping that numbers equal. Three versus three in the bot side of the map. But for Zoe to be able to get the push in that wave is a lot harder. But they can still access the Herald by moving through top. So now they push in this wave. Now they move down towards the... You'll even see they're just kind of aggressively pushing forward with the Hextech Rocket Bell pushing themselves in. They won't get the tower just yet, but it is just one push away. And now with the Hex Flash over the wall, Syncroft might fancy himself. He finds himself a Caps. He does get himself with Demonic Ascension, but the Lulu is dead, as is the Sivir. They don't want the Dragon Venius. They want the kills. And that seed that you knew needed blood is starting to get pretty damn big into a tree. Yankos, though, you can see the power of this, uh, uh, this Swain really moving forward. Now they can't kill off the Swain Caps. Is still alive. One more auto attack will do it. And next body will pick up a double kill. Now, Broken Blade. Can he get anything else? Sink back live. They want to the go again. Syncroft is unafraid. Actually, never mind. Syncroft is very afraid. Never mind. He even jumped back. Looks like he was hex fracking back over the wall. The Jersey does come in. That's going to be onto Yanko's. A double knock up here. And yes, you may have got the Dragon G2, but do you get out with your lives? The answer is no. It's still two minutes till the Baron. But right now, we can see the BDS is committing to the top side once more. They have five members. Yankos. Yankos is looking for the fight. He's looking for the fight, he's looking for a 1v1 right now. Does pop it down onto Xmati, and Xmati's dead. Yeah, ooh, Lemon, he flashed in. And that's going to try and save his, his AD carry, and it's just not going to work. BDS, you can see... Collapse onto the mid lane. You do have a Nash's 2 Quen closing in from the side there, so Broken Blade's going to look for something with Caps as well. Nuclear gets caught out a little bit over the side. He's trying to be cheeky with those portal jumps, and now Broken Blade trying to see if he can catch on to Agassivo. Caps gets knocked out, so now it's a 5v4 in favor of BDS, but already health bars chunked out, Nuclear Int and Limit. This is happening, but BDS don't know that for sure. Now a war goes down, as eventually the Dragon will be secured. That is soul point and the most important got a two out of spike now onto Broken Blade big one for Caps as well with the Rylas Crystal Scepter and Imperial Mandate and Broken now, Blade things are coming down Yankos smells something's up the vision will be spotted by Caps they know this is going on will BDS just flip the Baron they're just kind of committing right now there's going to be a TP into the pit Limit trying to see if he can play keep away as Yankos Yanko's gets knocked back that's the dummy though that's not even Yankos you got baited just as much as they did and there's going to be the cannon going down now Limit trying to go for it you've no poppy and BDS your early game was fantastic G2 are just running you down around the Baron pit. You cannot close out this game. And they went straight back to pushing in that mid lane. So that's going to be Baron now for G2. That's a fantastic little bar Red Bull Baron. To flash over the wall to help him, but Limit is isolated. Xmati and Nuclear Ink can't do anything. The Baron is actually killing Xmati here. This win, they will join the top five, which seems to be separating. Yeah, we'll see now. Aggressivo, seeing if he gets caught out here. They never move, not quite. And it's time. It would be great, but they have the option of choice. They can decide to go for top side, push in these ways, get drag or vision control around. There. That's exactly what they're going to go for. But it's been spotted out. They know it's coming in because they have got a ward. Now he knows he's been spotted. Aggressivo flashes in. Yankos trying to take out Targamus. They get the double man knockup, but it's a Lulu. So difficult to actually burn that health bar down. It's a fight on two fronts. Three v two and a three v two. But look at the Infelios. Limit goes down, and there's Xmati. It's a double kill with this broken blade scissors. It's just too damn big. BDS tried everything. They threw everything in the kitchen sink. But G2, they have gotten themselves to the late game. G2 commandingly win the team fight. And they will secure themselves the Dragon Soul. It was such a good early game for BDS. But they faltered in the mid game. They lost the Baron. And G2's team comp came online. They're looking to take down as many members as possible. Broken Blade will pick it up, and they're left to run away. Difficult and difficult. BDS are being pulled, stretched around the map. They need to make a decision. They try to go on to Broken Blade, but it's a level Ooh. 17. Gwen, who is immune, and Caps tries to make that one work. Now it's Maddie without a time can to save him, and Caps feeling confident. Caps goes in with the wild growth to get the knockup. And Garcibo is there. The Moonlight Vigil is pretty decent, but no one goes down beside a G2. I lie. Caps is finally taken out, and it's a trade. Through this Baron, Yankos should have information that it has been started. 
Here we go. They're going to have the pink one in the back of the They've pit. It's going to be 50-50. It's going to be a committal. And it's stolen! G2 Yankos will get himself the Baron. Alex Manny will just turn back onto these teammates, but he cannot do anything else. G2, they just absolutely decimate BDS. You have to go for something. BDS just cannot find a Baron. Yankos took it away earlier, and he takes it away again. With a soul, with a Baron, with a Nexus in their eyes, G2 is looking to go to seven wins. And they will destroy their Kryptonite, put it into the back of their minds. You only beat G2 Esports once, BDS. And they should be able to get themselves up to seven and five. And all of a sudden, our playoff race is hotting up. G2, typical in G2 fashion. They're looking for more kills. They're looking for more fights. The ultimate will come out from Synchrov. Oh, Cash could be into danger. Delivered. <laughs> Delivered to the fountain laser. I'd like to see that. But G2, they've got Flacken on the Nexus. This is going to be the win. And this is going to be them very much securing themselves towards that playoff spot. Chase likes resources, obviously. Um, but I think in this case, uh, Silver Zilli uh, Zillion is not the mo strongest ball lane. Yep. So they will also need some resources at some point in this game. So okay. we'll see how that goes. Flash. They have no idea that this is going on. Wonder though, he senses something. He's got a spidey sense, but it's not that good. He gets knocked up, gets himself killed off, and that is a first blood to Mad Lions. That Ahmed isn't grossly ahead just yet. That's just going to help accelerate him, but this fight could. Oh, this fight definitely could. We will see them fully engaged here on the hill assign. He doesn't have his ultimate, so he's not got no chrono shift. There's the needlework trying to go right through the hearts of everyone on Fnatic as Mad Lions pick themselves up their second kill, maybe looking for a third. Aurelia is fully committed. There's a Super Mega Dead Rocket. Not really going to do anything here. He's upset there. This is an extended fight right now as Kaiser's caught between a rock and iron blaze, and he goes down two for one in the straight so far. But look at Fnatic trying to see if they can coerce them, move them around. These are low health bars under the Gwen. If you lose the Gwen, this is all of a sudden a 3v2. It's a 3v1 triple kill coming in for Humanoid. And Fnatic, it looks so bad when they turned it right back around. Ends up being a favorable fight for Fnatic as Upset joins the battle. And he was the crucial decider that allowed Fnatic to come out on top because they had that numbers advantage, because Upset was able to offer this heal. Notice that he got three assists in that fight, but it was Humanoid that was able to claim the Kills. Very well played fight from Fnatic, and they should be able to convert this into a Herald. I mean, we'll see now. We can see the rest of Mad Lions trying to roam themselves back onto the map, but Kaiser, without a flash and without a quickness, is not that threatening of a Rakan. He is starting to posture around, but no one else really did support him, and that is Riftel going other side of Fnatic. So, All the way from bot over to mid, and now joins the fight and actually cuts off the escape route of the Mad Lions. Humanoid then feels confident that he yep. that long ago. So, uh, shout out to him. Oh. Now we see the posturing around the dragon. Kaiser takes a bit of damage. There's a full engage coming in. They're going to have the Sivir ult come in as well. Adoya does flash away. Humanoid looking to try and get over the wall. The charm does not land. And oh. he gets fully engaged upon Flick back as well. And he's got nowhere else to go. He does get oh. himself into the resurrection. But a three man knockoff means a two kills going over to Unforgiven. He's going to be able to pick up a third. A triple to the jinx as Niski finishes off the. TP is available for either top laners. So who's going to move first? It looks like that. Ooh, oh. Fnatic are going to pull the trigger. Flash in to get the slow, to get the double bomb down. We can see them getting the resurrection as well. You've got no summoners here onto the Jinx, but they already taken them out. That's going to be a huge turnaround here as Nitsky's a little bit late to the party, and that's two kills back to Fnatic. They may look for some more as they keep pushing forward with the Sivir Just ultimate. yet. Not down and out just yet. They will stop the Dragon stacking nice and early, so that's going to be one apiece in that objective market. But it does mean a trade on the other side of the map. Mad Lion saying, look, we can't fight around this Dragon, but we can sure as hell take Shelly. Hopefully she got to do her favorite thing in the world, which is boop her head against some turrets. But we'll have to wait and see, because again, the second tower or second Rift Herald, not as immediately effective as the first. And have a look at what's happening on the map right now. Armut is securing that top tier one, but Niski doesn't have a lane to go to. Unforgiven was actually given the resources in mid lane. So what does he do? He just goes and clears jungle camps. And it, I think, again, it's a really great representation of what Niski does for his team. He's very willing to sacrifice in order to give other carries on the team those resources. And like, you know what? You can have the next two midways. I'll take Wolves. I'll take Gromp. It's totally fine. Uh, and now he's grouping up with his team. He didn't want to lose too much distance. Now they're looking for an opportunity. Kaiser over the wall. The fog of war belongs to Mad Lions. It does indeed as Humanoid gets caught out. The chains do not land though as they try to look and try and burn him down. But already you can see the power of the Zillion with that ultimate kind of coming in clutch and they can turn it back onto them. Mad Lions, you may have gone a little bit too far forward. And Fnatic can then flash away. 
and then oh. create some distance. Beautifully played by Human. Really well played. Hillisang, though, he's in a lot of trouble. You just used your ultimate, Hilly, and you are being taken out. And this is a bit of a problem now for Wonder. He's got himself TP'd upon on the top side. Actually, he wasn't even TP'd upon. That was just Arma just being behind him. And they're going to be able to knock him down as well. Two quick picks as Mad Lions not willing to let the momentum go. This has got to feel a little bit more LPL for you, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Action across the board. Nine to six is, is the kills. And Mad Lions will look to secure themselves another tower. Very quickly, the momentum switching back in their favor. Here we go, crowd. Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Humanoid now on the flank. Yeah, they're going to look for it now. Humanoid, look, got to keep the momentum going. So it's very difficult, Matt. We'll have full summoners on Unforgiven and nearly have the flash on Kaiser. So they can't quite get the exact timing on that. So it looks like it's just going to be a push in the mid lane. Armut, though, will try to dash away. He gets stunned by the Everfrost. And now he's down to about half HP. You've got that immunity up, and now that's down. So you can see now Upset taking this as an opportunity. And this is tit for tap, push for pull. This is both teams really pushing. Forgiven and Upset. And I will say, though, you've got to say that Razork having that Black Cleaver should be significant in the later team fights. With only a Dragon apiece, we should start to see both these teams really push in towards those Dragon Souls. And Baron spawning in five seconds. This is where the team fights come into big questions right now. And honestly, Wonder's going to have to try and make something work on this side because I think he's not going to be doing that well unless. He has support. Lions, they try to take away this dragon away. Oh, Fnatic can even wall. isolate them from it with the Weaver's Wall. Nice. And they keep themselves. Calling a little bit of a moment here and saying, look, Fnatic, you're not set up for this. We're going to TP in and try to take this Misty. Baron. Look at his wall here. Oh, it's a good wall. It does separate Razork from the rest of the pack. It's only going to be up for a few more seconds. Humanoids have the Spirit Rush just to get it here on time. But Mad Lions, they don't want to go for this Baron just yet. Armut needs to try and run away Ooh, as he goes much. golden to keep himself alive. Needs to move away from these bombs. Razork has died and Armut stays alive. They're a dragon format lines. It is only a Cloud Soul, so it won't give you the most immediate of impacts. As we can see now, Kaiser goes very far forward, isn't they? Fuck! Oh! Humanoid landed the charm off the prediction of Unforgiven, which means he's completely isolated. And now Razor claims up the kill onto the side of Kaiser, but he's traded back. Unfortunately, for engaged, they came through from Kaiser. I, I think you, you rightly spotted it. It was that Everfrost that actually stopped it because it looked like he found a fantastic engage. Having ultimate items, and it's going to come down to who can make what stick. Oh my god, look at how strong Arm is right now. 4 1 and 2. Okay, they know Niski is there trying to put down the Weavers while Razork's got himself over the side, though, so Ooh, he's now in position. Stuck. They have a TP coming in from Wonder. They're going to try and make this one work, but man, get themselves the Baron. That's going to be them now trying to get out of this fight as Armut's caught a little bit behind bars. Trying to see if he can walk away from this one here. He should be able to see upsets there, but there's going to be a 2v3 right now. Whoa! Oh, that's a commitment. <laughs> that is a big commitment coming in. Aloya is tanky, but is he going to be tanky enough? Goes golden as we can see a TP coming in. The damage is great from Armut, but he's not quite in position to make it work. Mad Lions, they, they're going to keep pushing forward. Humanoid not quite able to flash Charm. Will get stunned up, though, as he gets a spear rush out. And Armut's just a monster. Armut is the man, the boogeyman that you do not want to deal with. The monster under your bed. Monsoul, you wanna... not really a big deal. As upset, Ooh, upset. Waver's Wall is going to be oh. there in a TP as well. And they're going to try and jump all the way on the Hillisang. Hey, Upset's kind of been left alone as he flashes back. They flash in on top of him. He gets resurrected, but it's only going to be back to the side of his death. He gets to see himself die twice as all, all three carries get killed. Mad find an opportunity, and they completely punish Fnatic. And just like that, Fnatic get wiped off the map. Mad Lions are looking to cement themselves as the best team in the league right now as they have the Nexus in their eyes. They got the Nexus to it's after this inhibitor, which goes down with ease, like scissors through paper. They will have to go through an Ari and a Wukong, who clears out the wave. I like that from Rezork. He prioritizes killing the minions, but they're not done just yet, They Benny. are certainly not. Still 20-second death timers on Wonder and Upset. Hellasang will be respawning, but Armin is just trying to get rid of as many minions as possible. The charm comes through from Humanoid. Here it we go. Misses. Here we go. They're going to try and jump on the Kaiser, get a double bomb, actually a triple bomb, but Razork's already dead. Armor jumping in now as well, it looks like Mad Lions. This Gwen is too big, and Mad Lions up to nine and three.